What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bloodborne, and it is time to head to the end of the DLC. Um, we'll see how it goes. Once upon a time, I was fairly okay at this fight. This is not that time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping pretty well, but anyways, time to discover the sin that the, the, the hunters were hiding all along. So being that I don't, they never explain it. Essentially they found cause and I believe they ended up killing cause. It's something along those lines for its blood. Similar how they imprisoned a Breedus. Uh, watch a lore video. I probably just butchered the lore right there. But anyways, Cause was pregnant. With and you know how they always lose their fur their 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 you know kid. Well, in this case, I don't think Cause lost hers or its because uh, you know it's it's being born right now. Hello. That's why Mikolesh was saying cause, or some say cause him. If you ever wanted a boss to fight with its placenta, you've come to the right place. Also, imagine being born out of your dead mother, Berserk reference, and uh, you're just like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Why am I here? You're like, this is fucked up, dude. <laughs> That's why he's crying. I don't think Koss is technically dead because of what happens after this fight. Hi! Hello, orphan of Koss! Yeah, you just walk over your mom's course with your serrated placenta. Ah, oh, we're doing wonderful damage. Ah, yes, the old, the old backswing. Well, that's unfortunate. What? The bullet went over his head. I know I can parry you. Like, the, uh, the option exists. It is really fun watching somebody who's like good at these fights, like this fight in particular. Because they do it super clean with all kinds of parries and shit. And you can backstab abuse him and stuff. I'm not doing any of that. Don't, don't, I don't want the meat. Don't give me the meat! <laughs> The bullet keeps going over your head! I'm gonna need to switch to blood form to do damage to him. And I got it, but I was, I was scared. Yeah, I was... We're just getting... Getting the feel right now. Orphan... Orphans, we have the meats. Yeah, that's a nice, that's the placenta right there. Wait, wait, what mess? All what what orphan came out of is not. That's 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 cause. Like that's literally cause. It was like a a fish great one, an aquatic great one. That's probably the right way to say that. This actually might be better. Hold on. Uh, what do we got here? 184 plus 209. No, no. Chicago is still better. Oh, uh, it's cost weak to thrusting. Interesting. We have a thrusting weapon. We'll try it out. I'm not as familiar with the moveset, but honestly, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference whether I'm familiar or not. A little bit of range wouldn't hurt either on those backstabs. What's the charge take for this, though? That's not bad. Yeah, that's dark, Billy. Jump at me! 
Do it! Do it now! Too slow. Eh. Oh, you don't like the, the, the pokes, huh? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. The chat told me to do it. Oh, shit. You followed up. Oh, bolt paper. We can use bolt paper against him, too. Because we can buff this. And he is an eldritch being, as you can see by his white glow. Don't trade with the orphan of Koss, comrade. You will not win. I shouldn't have dodged. Nope, that's the AoE. Oh, I could have abused that, I think. Wait, I need you to, uh... Not do that. Too close. Oh, come on! I was robbed! Stolen! Big swings. Nope. Angle was off. Wow. Thrusting works really well against him. Oh, he stopped. I like the pokes. Oh, I don't need to fully charge. You're right. I'm dead. No, don't get up. That's all. Dude, imagine if his attacks cause madness. How wild that'd make this fight. Oh, I'm still alive. Keep trying to... Ah, I was off. All right, all right, all right. Time for the wings. Oh, I don't want the meat. Oh, the meat hurts so bad. Did he, get, did he get taller? Dude, that meat always fucking gets me. Let me heal. I don't actually know what he's doing. Oh, he's calling the lightning. That's what it was. Oh, fuck it is. The, the meat and the lightning combo. I don't actually know what to do during that, so we're gonna just do what I just. Oh, no. The meat. Where'd he go? Oh shit, okay. No, don't go the lightning! Oh fuck! I got through it, you see that? Good job, man.
Alright, that wasn't bad. Yeah, phase two definitely is easier and harder at the same time. What's up, Catman? You gotta let him jump over your head without moving. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I probably could have ran away from the lightning there. On it, I'm actually really surprised of how well the church pick worked right there. <clears throat> I feel like if I go blood form, we'll do really good damage though to him. Fight him in the water. What does that do for us? Out of curiosity. I have seen people fight him in the water and I, I assume there's probably a reason for it. My contacts like dried out during that fight. Oh, uh, you don't get caught in the environment then. Okay. We're gonna fight on his mom's corpse, because that's metal as fuck. Come here. Oh, that goes really far. Yeah, I see what you I see what you mean by just standing still during that. Every fucking time he does that, I try to parry him. I fucked that up. Oh shit, that was... How we... I used seven bullets already? Jeez. That probably would be a good parry right there. Oh, okay. So I can go behind him during that, I think. Uh, why didn't I didn't slash? Got it. All right, I got the feel for that now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Phase two. top off oh my nose fuck I had to itch my nose I thought I had a second I, I was wrong Wait, I wonder if you stand still during that if he can't hit you. So, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't hard lock on him. Oh, that actually, dude, I've never, I didn't know that did like a shock wave. What is going on with the meat, brother? Watch out. 
Yeah, fighting in the water is definitely the move. That's actually not that bad. Phase two, at least. He actually doesn't feel that bad now. I remember the first time that I played Bloodborne, I got stuck on this fight for fucking ever, which I'm sure a lot of people on their first playthroughs did. I mean, because he's definitely the hardest fight in the game. I think. These last couple of attempts definitely didn't make it seem that way, but I think on a first time playthrough, he's definitely the hardest fight in the game. Now you don't think so? Who do you think the hardest fight in the game is? Probably a chalice dungeon fight. The meat's the, the I, I thought I get terrified of the meat every time he does it. It does so much damage to you. Yeah, Maria's Yeah, Maria's not bad, comparatively. Okay, that was bad. Oh, fuck. All the attacks that hit you multiple times, you'd be very careful with. Oh, that should have been a visceral. No jumpy. So fuck you, I want to jump. <laughs> there we go. Come over here. Fucking meat, of course. Always the meat. I missed. I don't know where he went. Okay. Well, that's kind of hard to dodge. Oh shit! The lightning must have been right behind me. Hardest fight was in the chalice because that run had to be hitless. Why? Is it like a do you like get hit killed in one shot by everything? Oh, your chalice reduces your health by ninety five percent. Oh shit. Yeah, I've never went that deep in the chalices either. I have fought a couple, I don't know if I ever made it to, I feel like I didn't do every boss in the Chalice Dungeons before. I don't recall ever doing everything in them. Come here.
ask me why I dodged back in front of him. I don't know. Skinny? Yeah. Oh, that... Mm, the, the rope hit me, but okay. I don't know if that's rope. Whatever that is. Umbilical cord, I guess, technically. Wow, I didn't get knocked up by that, and I healed. Okay, that, oh, I didn't know the explosion didn't actually hurt you. To get away from the lightning. You can probably line the dot. You can probably dodge it, obviously. Like through it. Ah, he's giving me the meat. This is not Arby's. I dodged into the meat. You motherfucker. Okay. Nice. Not nice. Like. <laughs> Dude, he's fucking popping off right now. Holy fuck. Jeez. Orphan. Actually, Comrade, if you really want to farm souls, you can go to the cum dungeon. What the fuck is the cum dungeon? I've never heard of this before. Comrade, I'm getting really close to finishing Pimp Shot Cool. You, sh you show her up. I like it. Yeah, we'll definitely add it. Yeah. Oh, we're out of blood vials. All right, hold on. I didn't throw it for the content, to be honest with you. I promise. Tom Dungeon, wonder if there's an emote for that. Oh god. I don't feel like going to farm, so let's just do this. Is my Chicago about to break? No. Alright, that gives us like two more attempts. <laughs> no, we didn't get enough vermin for Madara's whistle, unfortunately, Alt.
I don't. What is the cum dungeon though that you're referring to in Bloodborne? I'm not aware of this. Wait, what happens if you kill Walter? Will he just give it? Does, does he drop it? Come PKF is the code. Are you fucking kidding me? Is that is that a real thing? That's like the move if you want to farm. Okay. Well, if we run out of blood vials again, we'll try it out. I should not run out of blood vials because I can beat this dude. I'm just choking every time. You just spawn and get 83 echoes. What? 83 K echoes? What the fuck, dude? Oh, on your mom's corpse. Okay, when he falls about, you can get a, a free visceral on him if you time it up right. What is he doing? Oh, that, okay. Ow. when he does that. Probably not. Oh. Oh, you can. Huh. All right. Tinge bill board for the win. <laughs> All right, orphan goes down. Whew. All right, so that actually isn't that bad. Anyways, as you can see, this is cost right here. Tentacle face and all. Also, kind of like a, a female face, which is interesting. I believe this is meant to be her spirit or whatever. That actually ends the boss fight. 
Nightmare Slain. Oh. I missed the lantern. Oh well. <laughs> we can awaken from the hunter's uh, nightmare now. Sweet child of Kos returns to the ocean. A bottomless curse. A bottomless sea. Accepting of all that there is and can be. It's a beautiful poem. Yep, that's DLC complete. Oh, we're good. Alright, cool. Bloodborne. What is it? The Old Hunters DLC? Whatever it's called. Complete. So technically in the game, like for the base game, we have two bosses left over there. Um, I think we should check out some, well. some uh, dungeon or uh, chalice dungeon stuff. Um, we'll use the hunter's pick or whatever it's called. Church pick. What's the weapon called? Yeah, church pick. All right. How do I do this? It's been a long time. Makeshift altar. Wait. A short ritual root chalice. Did we not? Did I miss that? Hey, what's up, Ronan? Oh, I guess I missed the... I missed the chalice somewhere. We'll have to go find it, I guess. Oh, you need blood echoes for this stuff? Okay, well, we don't have that. Um, all right. Well, uh, let me go get some blood echoes. Uh, where is... You guys said to go to where the research hall is to form. Which is going to be here. Use a Thumerian. Why Thumerian? Oh, the short chalice is in a chalice. Okay. We'll do the first one. We'll, we'll, we'll check out that as well, Billy. I want to see. What are you guys worth? Oh, 1500 a pop? Ow. Okay, yeah, this is definitely pretty good. That's 12k already. Will we get toxic in here or something? Yeah. The tenties, gotta watch out for the tenties. What are they dropping? Bullets, nice. Oh, if you put all the moon runes on, you get 143k. Nice. No, we're good. That's enough already. Uh, Alright, so we want to go here. And do the Thumaru first. Th yeah, Thumaru. Yeah, it was close. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Yeah. So we could have ended the episode because it's kind of a good, you know, finish and ending point, but we'll just keep going. So if you're watching on YouTube, we're going to do some Chalice Dungeon stuff before we end the game. Just because I've only done them sparsely. Like there was one playthrough when I think I did a fair bit here, but I don't know if I actually did all of them. So we should have a pretty easy time going through these things, at least early on.
And we'll fight some unique bosses too. I know that. I know eventually there's some repeat bosses you fight. Um, I know Rom's down here. I think Amygdala's down here. Those might be in the dungeons that like reduce your health and shit though. You think your chalice shields 40k a loop? 400k a loop. Holy shit. We can restock on some blood vials and bullets too while we run through here. Hi. That was rude. Oh, we're in uh, Sen's Fortress. Nice. That was for dramatic effect. Oh, a bag man. Well, clearly we need to go through the dungeon or the, yeah, the dungeon and explore it. So if we wouldn't have fell down here, I wouldn't have came down here. Probably Is this poison. No, uh, did I just phase through that wrath? Fucking Skaven, their warp stone magics. So I think I'm correct in saying that the underneath the chalice dungeons is where they fought they originally found a Breedus. I don't know how them discovering costs fix it fits into all this. I don't know what happened first, is what I'm trying to say. I'm guessing a Breedus happened first, and that was the church that found a Breedus, and the hunters found costs. But I don't know. Uh, hello. You got a ladder? Any ladders over here? Hey, I'm just looking for... Oh, okay. How's the Born of Blood? It's going okay. Uh, we're about done with the game, technically. This is all extra stuff now that we're doing. Um, just because it's content, and... I feel like I don't, I don't normally see this content when I play, so... Why not do some of it? Hey! Listen here, Mr. Poison Knife Man. That's enough. And there's also unique enemies down here and stuff, so. A little large friend. Ow. And that opens up something somewhere. You see where Elden Ring got the inspiration from now? With pull the lever to unlock a door in the dungeon? Uh, I don't know what door to unlock though. There's like a, a way to figure that out. Like, like the, the way that the Chalice Dungeons progress, like you should, you can like kind of figure out where the door is early. I don't know where it's at. It, Probably was back towards the beginning. Maybe. I don't know though. Wait. Oh wait. I don't... I didn't go up this ladder. Oh, there it is. And I know some of these have extra rooms you can go through as well. Now this is a boss fight, I'm assuming. Yep, undead giant. New enemy. Okay, brother, what the fuck? Can I attack?
I think there might be a variation on him as well. I know that you can find unique versions of a bunch of weapons in these as well. Like there's Uncanny and um, some other name that you can get for weapons that are different variations. Um, I think you need like certain codes to find those though. Because I know I can get an uncanny Chikage and whatever the other version's called. There's two versions of it. And you also get the Beast Claw uh, weapon from Chalice Dungeons. Don't know which one, but one of them. And uh, also everything looks the same. So it makes traversing these areas super easy. Definitely never going to get lost. Is there really nothing over here? Just just a uh, you can fall down here, I guess. What about messenger's alt? I have acquired the beast claw before. We do not have it right now. Wait, you don't get the no the weapon drops in the chalice dungeon, I thought. We have the runes for to turn to go beast mode if we were doing a beast build. And obviously you can do this really early. As soon as you fight um Blood Starved Beast, you can start doing Chalice Dungeons. So that's where we're kinda of where we're at right now, which is why we're like one shotting everything in here. Um I'm not sure what just happened right there. That was cool though. Some chalice material. Yep. Oh, nice. Bunch of chalice material. That's kind of where the grind comes in, is, is acquiring chalice material, from what I remember. Um, like, eventually, like, I think the game kind of feeds you a good amount of it for a while, and then eventually, he triggered the trap, the trap card. Then eventually, you have to farm it. So this is kind of like, I wouldn't call it a roguelike, but it's kind of like just a... It's almost like a Diablo style situation where you're just looped over and over again looking for loot and crafting material. If you come back to the Bagman course, a blood liquor shows up and wait, what is it? a what? Oh, one of the I know what you're talking about. Like right now, go back to it and it'll be there. That's not the right way. Is it? Oh no, we're back at the beginning. Yeah, well, I know how to go forward. I'm trying to go back to where I just was, though. And I don't know where the fuck. Is. Stop spawning. I know I didn't kill the bell maiden, but like. Whatever. We're going this way. Oh, there she is. Hello, mace man. You're also naked. Why are you naked? Can't break that.
Totally not lost, I promise. There we go. Alright, next boss. We, we should get a doggo eventually, I think. Big doggo. Br big doggo that's a berserk reference. <laughs> Oh, this is the three piece merciless watchers and watcher captain. Thankfully, we do a fuck ton of damage because we should have done this many, many, many hours ago. These guys, if we would have went here right after Bloodstar Beast, these guys would have been really hard, I think. Hey, there's the Thumaru, Thumaru root chalice. That's good. No lantern? Okay. Oh, there's a hunter mark on there. That's cool. On the door. Who's this? Prospector Olek! We got his gear on right now. Oh, hello, Eldritch Being. Nice to see you. Oh, Kirby Madness, nice. Arcane Haze. That might be another uh, ritual item. What does this do? Can I? I think it opened the door. Oh, actually, I don't know what it did. Bagman! <coughs> Excuse me. Another one of you. Kill it. Hello, gaping dragon esque enemy. Oh, don't throw up on me. That's not very that's not very cool. Yeah, I think Ar I don't know what Arcane Haze does. It might be a chalice item. Who got the cannon up here? It was him. Just looking for a lever. Will the game give me one? What the fuck are you? What? What is that? I've never seen that before. What the fuck was that enemy? Okay. Oh, you look a little warmed up. Okay, Torfin. I have no enemies. Where does this go? Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, where are we? We've not been here yet. What's gonna try to kill me? That's... This hallway's actually scarier because there, there was not an enemy in there. 
That's a little creepy. I'm not a fan of that. Just give me the enemies. Um, I... No, oh, a chest. Look at that. Got a massive craving for a chili dog. Too mold. <laughs> that the uh, torches sound like a Dark Souls bonfire. It's so quiet down here. What does this do? Oh. But do I? I mean, I guess I, I guess I want to go down there. But what? What about over here? What's over here? Oh, just a dude. Just guys being bros over here. No big deal. If you visceral anything, the corpse sticks around. A liquor will appear. I didn't. Or not. Well, you mean like the the tick things from Kanehurst and the Blood River. All right, I actually am, am not entirely sure how to get the fuck out of here. Um, I know that I don't want to go up there, but I don't know where I... I don't know where I came in at. Are you alive? You are. Oh boy, here we fucking go. But you're still alive. Listen, you tried to pay, like commentating and paying attention and interacting with chat but also paying attention to where the hell you're going. It uh, it becomes quite difficult sometimes. It's an acquired skill. All right, this one has a side area. Okay, cool. Give me something good. Probably more uh, ritual items. Hello, Bagman. Ow. Let's go this way first. Do we have a party in here? As soon as you get a capture card for your PS3, you're gonna run. You're gonna. We're gonna speed run AC1, 100, percent and you're gonna do something distracting while we play. <laughs> nice. All good items. Can I open this door? Ooh, another door. Doors to doors to doors. What's in here? Anything good? Hello, friends. Oh. Hello. Well, you think you thought the streamer was lost before. I'm advanced lost now. This chalice has many doors, Ed boy. Hey! That was rude. Oh, we're back to the beginning, I think. This way? We're going down. Alright, down is good. Time for boss fight. <gasps> Doggo! This looks like Guts' is, uh, what is it called? Like the beast within or whatever? Anyway, his berserker armor. Like the beast that's in Guts. His uh, hatred or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't know. I didn't get that far in the manga yet. Watchdog of the old boards.
would be a much harder fight earlier in the game. But it gives me the doggo. I don't know what we're supposed to do with all those chalices for the record. Anyways, that ends the first Thumaru chalice here. As you can tell, there is not another door to exit from. Cool. Good stuff right there. All right. Well, I think with that, we're at about time for this episode. So next time, we're going to explore some more chalice dungeons and hopefully see some new bosses. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, eventually, we're going to go end the run. But for now, we're going to do this for maybe like a few more episodes just to see where we end up. So as always, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.